So, are we back? Hmm, better watch this and find out. So, welcome back guys to Layla Central. It's been quite a few weeks since I've done another video. As uh, my regular subscribers and people that tune in will have actually noticed. And uh, to the channel, it's been about three weeks since the last video was ever shown. Uh, but in actual fact, uh, since that was recorded, it's been probably around about more between five and six weeks for me. Uh, because I do record some of my videos in big batches and then upload them. So I thought I'd do a video share with you what's happening, um, what's been going on, and yeah, give you a bit of an update on uh, where we're at, including myself. So, so it's been uh, quite some time since we've seen a video with the trains running, etc. and it's purely because I have not been here in the layout. Um, I've been very busy with work at the moment, um, and of course, for those that remember on my last video, um, my daughter hasn't been too well, so we've had a lot of uh, unexpected bills come in, we've been busy uh, trying to look at all that sort of stuff as well and get it rectified and uh, for those that, that express their concern and well wishes you know thank you very much um, obviously for anyone that's got a parent and a child you never want to see them unwell um, thankfully she's uh, she will be fine um, it's not life-threatening or anything like that but obviously something's not right um, I'm not going to go into full details on that but uh, and as a result with that combining with work and personal life I have not been in here for close to around about six weeks so it's been a long length of time uh, no purchases nothing's been done and my last uh, videos with construction were in regards to doing a bit of the scenery and painting all that I have not touched it uh, since so we're grounded to a massive halt here um, on that note though I am keen to get back in here um, I mean I'm in here right now um, but then again I'll look at some of the stuff and go where what am I going to do? Um, because there's so much in here uh, to do. The, you know, the land is very, very infant in its infancy, um, and no land is ever going to be finished, um, of course. But uh, when I look at this, I mean, as you may have seen with some of my videos, I'm jumping around from spot to spot, just trying to, one, create some variety for myself so I don't get bored with it, um, but at the same time, keep interest with you guys, my uh, followers and subscribers. So. Um, now, I've noticed uh, in the past couple of weeks, I've picked up a few more subscribers as well. So welcome, guys. Um, you know, thanks for tuning in and checking out my videos. And uh, don't forget to, you know, hit the like button. Always comment. I do like to, uh, you know, uh, receive your feedback as well as comment as well. So um, I thought I'd give a bit of an update, see what's actually been going on uh, with the layout as well as the channel and, um, yeah, see how things are. Um, so moving on to the, the future. Um, the next couple of months are going to be quite busy for me. Um, I mean, this channel and this hobby is essentially a hobby. It isn't my life. Um, so while I do like to try and see if I can do a weekly video, unfortunately, life just doesn't permit that. So there will be times where I might put a video up every fortnight to maybe once a month to, yes, weekly. Um, so it's going, to be, it's going to be very fluctuating depending on what's happening in my life. Now, the next couple of months, um, as we start to go into the warmer weather here in Australia, um, I've got some things I need to do around the place. My backyard, for example, uh, we built this home where we currently live around about four or five years ago, and I, we've got no backyard. It hasn't been landscaped, so I need to get in and get that done. So that's going to take up a bit of my time once it starts to fine up. Um, I still will be spending some time in here, and you're still going to get some content, um, but if there is a bit of a break, you know, I'm going to be out there busy moving a lot of earth. Um, in doing that. Um, now, having said that as well, um, Monthly Mailbox will be returning soon as well because I do, uh, essentially, as I record this, I'm going to be doing some shopping tonight. Um, so, looking forward to that. Um, and, uh, and of course, just getting into this. And um, obviously, one of the things that I want to do is get this landscaping uh, around here. J just get something in because um, I'd like to see a bit of greenery. It, you know, I don't want to sink the whole thing in one big hit. That ain't going to happen. Um, but certainly if I'm able to get some of my grass in, get all that in, it's going to be, um, you know, it's just going to give us something to look at instead of bare timber and being quite boring. So um, my main priority at the moment is to do some more of the polystyrene hills, build it up around the actual bridge over there as well. Um, once I'm happy with that, glue it all down, give it a bit of uh, a bit more of a solid foundation as well, and then I'll be starting to put my landscaping uh, materials on top of that. 
Um, so, and I've got some very interesting stuff. Uh, one of the things I can show you, uh, I have been wanting to delay, but I thought I might actually uh, show you guys is um, what I'm actually going to use for the grass itself. Um, as I've mentioned in the port in the past, I plan to paint my grass, which sounds hilarious. Um, but um, rather than using the standard static grass and everything that m majority of people use, I'm going to be using something else, which I'll show to you right now. Okay, so. What am I using for my grass? I'm going to be using a different sort of product. Went to the fabric shop and now you can see it's got this nice strong sort of backing but on the other side we've got all this fur. Now some people may call this teddy bear fur. Um, I'm going to do a lot of work with this sort of stuff. Um, I'll bring it as close as I can which you can see there. So obviously this is way out of scale um, at the moment with uh, double O or HO, depending on what you want to look at it. I've got a lot of work I need to actually trim and cut all this down, sculpt it to what I want, and then I've got to paint it as well. So we'll see how it goes. I've used it for some other stuff and it's turned out well, um, but I've never, I mean, I haven't, it's been quite some time since I've used it, but I also want to see how it actually goes against the railway. So as we uh, think about like using this sort of stuff, as you can see right here, we've got a lot of variation in heights, etc., and um, you know, We'll see how it goes. We'll give it a crack. If I don't like it, of course, what I'll do is I'll just not put it down and go with some of the other methods. So um, we'll see how that goes. And um, obviously, that's not going to go in or be touched on until we do this. The other thing is also, I've been looking at colours, etc. So how I plan to paint this in the greens or the, the yellows and all that sort of stuff. I want to use, I've got to get some paint mixed up to paint this, but also to blend with my back scene itself. So at the moment, it's just got some wispy clouds, etc. What I plan to do is essentially put some rolling hills in there. So there's a transition between the grass and going into the background. So the, so the back scene doesn't take over, but it assists in bringing this whole scene together in that regards. Um, the other thing that uh, I'm quite keen to work on at the moment is, um, as you guys are aware, if I can find here they are, as you guys are aware, I did get a heap of the Acura scale um, cement wagons themselves. Uh, very great wagon, you know, I'm a big fan of these. They are obviously very, very polished as you can see, you know, there's no weathering on them. I am keen to just get a little bit of work done on them, get them toned down a little bit, um, get them not, not, bright and shiny like this really so um, so I plan I want to get into that the other thing that I'm more keen to get into is my railroad wagons uh, which some of you guys may have seen in the past uh, where I've essentially got a massive well not massive but a very lengthy rake of these uh, these are just the Hornby railroad uh, wagons for their price I thought they were perfect for what we want um, and I'm going to repaint do all these put some decals on them give them a little bit of weathering not make a massive career uh, out of it but enough to change all this get them looking pretty good um, so I'm more quite keen on that and the other thing that um, obviously I do have a cement plant that I've been working on now one um, I've put some of that especially painting the buildings on a bit of a back burner because it's it they are big buildings it's a big bit of project so it's not done overnight and because I'm working on it consistently I'm, it's turning into a chore and I'm really, really not liking it. Um, I've got no enjoyment at the moment painting those buildings uh, because it's the same, it's time consuming, it's lengthy. Um, they will look great when they're done, but at the moment I, it's using a bit of self-force in able to do that. Um, so, I mean, I'll show you some uh, details on what I've actually ch achieved so far. Um, but it's, um, it's one of these things where I want to start these projects and do them, but after time goes on, if it takes too long, I start to lose a bit of interest. So the best way for me is to back off it, um, focus on something else like I have been with the scenery and over here, and then I'll come back to it as well. So it is a work in progress, um, and we'll go from there. The other thing, actually, one second, I'll grab it. All right, we're back. My little shunter that I purchased for the cement plant, um, you know, it's, um, I, I do like it, it's a good shunter, but unfortunately I'm very disappointed with how it runs. And looking at the internet, looking at the reviews, uh, looking at all various bits and pieces, the locomotive itself does have an older style motor in it and a lot of people have commented on how poor it runs um, on DCC. Um, works quite well under um, DC, but um, under DCC, oh sorry, AC, but um, on DCC it's been a bit of a problem. And, um, and as a result, because I've lost enjoyment in running that thing, 
it's not seeing any use at all, um, which is disappointing because I, I love the look of it, um, but I'm not getting the performance that I'm after. Um, so there's work that I need to do to it, but obviously one of the issues is the motor itself. Now, it's, it's going to end up being one of these models, I can see it, where it's going to be sitting on the shelf and it hardly gets used because of its performance. Um, I need to put some attention to it. I need to put a bit of work on it. But do I have the motivation now? Not really. Um, so... Not sure what's going to happen there, um, and considering the money I spent on it, it's a bit disappointing, but hey, we learn uh, as we go through this uh, this life of model railroading, we learn a lot of stuff. Um, so anyway, let's turn the attention to the layout a bit, and uh, we'll go through a few other bits and pieces as well, and what's happening and what's going on in the future. Okay, so now we're over here essentially at the cement plant itself and we'll basically have a discussion on uh, what we're actually at here. So as you can see here, I have been starting to do some work on the actual buildings themselves. Um, there is uh, essentially a lot of work that needs to be done. So I'll just zoom in here uh, if I can. So as you can see there, so the warehousing uh, itself, uh, let me get it to focus, why is it not focusing? Hmm, not sure why that's doing it, um, but um, you know, looking at the actual roof there, I've uh, done some work to it. Um, it's still, that's that's a work in progress, obviously. Done nothing to the sides of the actual shed itself. The actual grain chutes themselves, I've done. Oh, not grain. The um, cement chutes and conveyors, I've done nothing about. Uh, same with this main building as well. We've got the roof in progress. We've got more on the side panels in progress. That's where it's essentially at. The actual train. Um, I don't know what you call it, the canopy just right there, um, right here. Again, that's got some basic stuff done to it, but that's still got a lot of work that needs to be done to it. Um, on the main building on where it's all going to head towards, you know, is still there. And of course we do have the uh, the grain size, oh, the grain size, the size right here, which again, you know, they've had some basic work uh, for the concreting here. I still want to do some more to it, put some basic details on there. But uh, again, haven't been touching this too much because I mean, this is a big project. Um, I mean, I'm gonna be extremely grateful when it's finished um, and it's gonna look great when it's done, but getting there is, it's the moment, it's a bit of a marathon and um, I'm running out of puff. Um, so I've been putting it on the back burner a bit and focusing more attention on the country uh, area over further. So once that gets done, uh, I'll be a lot happier. And of course, I started doing some point rotting down around here. Uh, which will uh, look the goods, uh, obviously, when it's all uh, all in around elsewhere. And um, once that's all in, it'll... Um, well, let's face it, the uh, the point running is extra detail. It'll look great once done. And uh, then I can get into doing some track painting as well, which the track painting, I reckon, uh, will be actually done first over further in the country. Okay, on my last uh, monthly mailbox as well, as I mentioned, I did to put some lights in there, and as you can see, I've done nothing to them since because I haven't been uh, in the layout room. So I've got to uh, essentially get my clips in, get that up, um, and get it finished, get those uh, cords up and out of the way. Um, I might even paint them a little bit just to try and hide them a little bit uh, because being black against what they stick out like, uh, you know, duck's nuts. Um, and um, yeah, just basically get onto it. Um, so. Like I mentioned, haven't been in here since that video, so nothing has been done since, but um, that's uh, that's on my priority because I absolutely hate those cords dangling down. It really, really bugs me at the moment. And of course, now we're at the country area where, um, as those are aware, you know, we've got our main lines going from here, going under the bridge, going over the further, and essentially going into the footwear, which is behind this pile of rubbish um, or off cuts. And, uh, and as you can see, I've got a lot of stuff just sitting around. So the uh, just due to me plonking stuff down and uh, just leaving it there. Um, yeah, haven't been getting any trains running. I haven't been in the room. Um, so yeah, eventually we'll get onto it again um, and uh, get some more progress happening. Like I mentioned, I'm keen to get this all greened and uh, just get some visual interest uh, to the eye really so I can watch and just sit and um, enjoy the trains a bit more um, in that regard. So got a bit of work to do there. Um, obviously the cement plane, as I mentioned, you know, it's got still a lot of offcuts as well, which just put them there to begin with because they're within arm's reach and uh, you know, I'll add them too. Scenic areas over here as well, um, so you yeah, know, got a bit of do, bit of work to do in that sort of regards. Um, so uh, the place is, uh, I did tidy it up, but it's become a mess very quickly, and um, and obviously not being in the shed, well, I've done nothing to uh, address it really. So um, need to get onto it in that regards. 
So there we have it. That's essentially the update or uh, essentially a bit more of an information for you guys on how the, uh, what's been happening with myself and of course the channel since all of a sudden we had a lot of videos coming out every single week and they'll sort of just ground to a halt. Uh, but we will be, uh, you know, you, there's going to be some more videos coming out soon, um, purely because I want to get into doing bits and pieces, um, and I'll record things as I can when I do them. Um, but, uh, and of course, you know, if you're watching the channel for the first time, you know, feel free to follow along if you want. Um, you know, I'm not a professional model or by no means, um, however, but I do like to record and blog my progress. Um, on that and you know just share with you guys what I'm doing uh, whether there's a, any interest for you guys to see how I do something um, or even of course give your advice on what you think I should do um, as well because I do enjoy reading all your comments um, so hopefully uh, you know we'll get to see some more videos again and um, yeah stay tuned and uh, thanks for sticking around so take care guys bye for now